Hey, what up guys? So last week we talked about friends and why friends are so important and how every time we get together for Joel, we talk about the three connects. One of them being we want you to connect with each other because having friends, good friends, who also love and follow Jesus is huge. Well, one of our other connects is to connect with the leaders. Yes, us old people. <laughs> you know, that hurts. That If I had feelings still, that would hurt. But I don't because you guys have killed them all, so I have no feelings. <laughs> Why do you guys think every time we get together, we say to connect with the old people, to connect with the leaders? Um, is it just because, you know, we want you to listen to us because we're angry old adults that are like, listen to us? Maybe. So way, 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 way back when in the Old Testament part of the Bible, which means everything before Jesus, Israel had a couple of really wise kings in a row. They really expanded the kingdom and made it a really big kingdom. And one of those kings was King Solomon. And King Solomon was said to be the wisest person to ever live. He was so wise that he outlawed country music in the whole country. Well, after Solomon passed away, his son Rehoboam took over. Um... Maybe some of you have heard of Solomon before. Probably none of you have heard of Rehoboam before. And there's a reason. Well, you see, Rehoboam had a wise, dumb choice to make. Because uh, see, a lot of Solomon's leaders were still around after he had passed away. And Solomon passed on a lot of his wisdom to these people. So he had a lot of wise leaders around him. And so Rehoboam, when he took the throne, had a choice. Do I keep these people around, these leaders with all of their wisdom to help me? Or do I just get rid of them and just use my own thoughts? Well, as you can figure out, since no one has ever heard of Rehoboam, um, he was pretty sure of himself. He was pretty, pretty full of himself. He was pretty arrogant and cocky. And so he got rid of all of his dad's wise leaders, did everything his own way, brought his buddies in, and yeah. Um, it did not take long until the kingdom split in two and Rehoboam was no longer the king of this big, huge kingdom. If you want to be wise, and I hope you do, you need to have wise people around you. Now, this is true for every human ever. Even us old people still need wise people around us. Like I have mentors, people that are wise that just help me. They give me wisdom. It's necessary for everyone. And I think especially as you're going through middle school, the things you guys need to deal with and will deal with, you need wise people around you. You need some leaders in your life to help. That's why your jolt leaders, look around the room. The old people that are here, that's why we're here. The high schoolers that are there in the room, that's why we're here. We want to help be those people for you. Be sources of wisdom. Be mentors. People that can help you navigate middle school life. All right, so the point today, be wise. Listen to your leaders. Don't, 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 don't be like Ray of, Ray of Bum. Ray of Bum. <laughs>